gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Hi guys, welcome back to the train post. Hola. We had a great weekend. Yeah. We went to an estate sale Thursday. Yes. I bought a bunch of model cars and die cast. Yes. And she went back on Friday and sold some breakers in a box. And those are selling like hotcakes. So. Yeah. <laughs> That's all you know how to say today, right? Yep. yep. <laughs> all right. Uh, so over the weekend, we sold 27 items for $1,224 and nine cents that's our number not no that's the number for the weekend that's extra stuff that sold not on the weekend oh okay <laughs> it confuses right. me with all the numbers she's like no our number ebay number this number that number, whatever her brain's already scrambled well. all right we're gonna go ahead and get right into it to try to keep the video somewhat yeah. short scroll. you're like vanna scroll uh, oh Okay. First one is this corning wear. I uh, there's a number up there. Shadow Iris. Um, I was actually gonna try to message the buyer because I just bought a thermos to go with it, um, and they bought it before I could get the thermos listed. It's it was just down in the kitchen being washed, so maybe I'll send the message when we pack it today. Uh, fourteen ninety nine is what it sold for, and I probably paid a dollar or two. I was gonna say something, I forgot. Yeah, I don't know. I got your disease. Hmm. Oh, I know what it was. Um, we kind of roughly ran the numbers last night, and we got some. We had some. It wasn't really a cancel. Somebody wanted a white melamine. Is it melamine? I don't know. White melamine. spatula and spoons and stuff, and we had a red, white, and blue set. So we had to cancel that to relist it for him but we ran the numbers last night and be a lot of uh, after all that she ended up getting me by about 24 dollars yeah. so with, out of all this this is probably the closest we've been especially with this amount sold yeah so she got me what else is new but it's still a good weekend yeah it was so these are the breakers that i picked up at that estate sale picked up a dozen of them for 60 dollars, which sounds high but they were $5 a piece, new in package. There was a whole box of them that were not new in box, but I just went with these. So got them home, got them listed right away, and within an hour, I sold five of them for $145. And this was a quantity count, too. So yeah. that's so that's really good. Yeah, five of these. She had listened for one seventy five, and somebody came right through and offered one forty five, and you can't turn that down. So that yeah, now doubles. quick money, bing bing. That doubles yep. the whole purchase. Okay, you're gonna laugh because it sounds like she's blowing me out of the water, but again, it did end up being pretty close. Yeah. This is a little bucky gun. We got these done in Florida. Let me find something metal. I guess nothing's metal. Anyway, <laughs> he does work. He does pop out. But we got a bunch of these down in Florida. Didn't really pay a whole lot for them because there was probably 20 or 30 of them or so. Mm -hmm. But this little guy ended up selling for $13. Yeah, I know. Which is going to pop out. Do it now. You want one? Show up. These are going to be a mutual because we can't remember who got them. <laughs> what is what scared something him? Touch these butt. <laughs> these are Five yeah. Night at Freddy's. And with the movie coming out, we kind of figured they would sell pretty high. Yeah, They're pretty good. A guy messaged us. He wants them for his son. He's going to take him to the movie, and he wants him to take him to the movie with him. Yep. So the three of these end up. I think we probably only paid like a quarter piece for him at a yard sale. Maybe I, I don't. Remember. We can't. We can't remember. But it didn't pay a whole lot. But the three end up selling for fifty dollars. Yep. And there's one that's a special one. There's pirate somebody and they're just three different Sp pirate foxy. I don't know. Spring somebody and something else. This one I got at the end of last summer. It's a Funko Pop. It's from the Glamorous Ladies of Wrestling. It's Debbie Egan. I believe we ended up paying $3 each for them. Not a huge profit on this one, but it ended up selling for 10 
Now you got your big spooky kind of thing, which we got a message from the buyer this morning. Please get this out in the mail as soon as possible as the uh, holiday is quickly approaching. Yeah, they ordered it over the weekend, and yeah, so well pretty done. demanding. Should have ordered it a little earlier. Yeah. Okay, this is a spooky town. This is the dreaded Zeppelin. Still in the box. This one does, I think this one runs off a of battery. But this is actually in pretty good condition. I'm um, getting too close to Halloween, so we went and took a lower offer on it than normal. And it ended up selling for $40. And I can't see what's next. Because <laughs> I didn't scroll yet. Scroll! I know. Ah. Oh, well, he's in around. I'll just stand here for a little bit. Blah, blah, blah. Don't worry, she has plenty. This is a Callaway X2 hybrid. It's the three hybrid, 19 degree. It's got the graphite shaft. It's in pretty good condition. This came out of the church hall, if I'm not mistaken, where I got all the golf clubs really cheap. But this one ended up selling for $54. They were actually selling bundles for, well, a lot more than what, what I paid because they had a mark for like $100, $125. And then we go there right yeah. at the end. And she marked it down to $5 a bundle. So I bought them all. So I'm probably into this for maybe a dollar. But again, it sold for $54. Yeah, that's when it paid off to be there. Uh, like, one of the last ones at a church stamp. They, I know my buddy always says, get there early for the good stuff and get there late for the cheap stuff. But evidently, if they have the good stuff marked too high, you can get the good stuff for cheap late. Yeah, buddy. All right, this is the first of the model cars because it was model cars and die cast I got. This is the first one. This is a Trans Am Blackbird. It is open. It does appear to be complete. There's still the body part and stuff that's still in plastic. But I did put in there, I'm not 100% certain it is complete. What you see is what you get, basically. As is. As is, yep. Did you put those two words in there? No. Oh. But uh, I broke it down. We ended up getting 168 models and die casts. I broke it down to where they're about $4.76 in inches. $4.76 each. And this one ended up selling for $25. We'll take it. Next. Okay. So I got these dishes at our Honey Hole Thrift Store. Temptations by Tara. She treats us so good. She really does. Actually, I mean, she wasn't there. It was the other lady. It was right? Gail. Gail. Yeah. yeah. So Which, both of them treat us really good. Yeah, Gail. She is just like seeing Miss K. So they're they're both awesome. I got... They always know how much money I got in my wallet. Mm -hmm. Well, hmm. well... Eh. I believe mine. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to... I, I got a plate set. I don't remember how many pieces. I guess I can put this down now. Temptations by uh, Tara Old World Green Basket Weave 10 and a quarter inch dinner plate. The other plates have more basket weave to them, but uh, sold these four dinner plates for $29.99. And I have a lot more to this collection. You get the bowls to bowls and bowls, plates, dessert plates, and salad plates still to go. And I think I paid maybe $5 for the entire set. That's usually what she charges for the plate sets. Yeah, pretty much. All right, so this is the fun fact um, animal Explorer cards, wildlife explorer cards. They are sealed. We got these at a yard sale, right? Yeah. For a quarter a piece. Yeah. And we got several of them. But on the front is a duck bill platypus. On the back is a Huan tree kangaroo. Don't know what else is in there, but it is sealed. We've sold tons of these already. And this one ended up uh, selling for $6. Dun, dun, dun. Dr. Seuss, you're the mean one, Mr. Grinch. Scrub, are you going to put a picture up on the... It'll pop up, yeah. Okay. He'll put a picture up of what it actually looks like. Pretty cool looking. Yeah. <laughs> He's hit yourself in the head with I know. <laughs> Size large. And it sold for $12.99. 
and we probably picked it up in our little grab bag of uh, scrubs. So I probably paid maybe a quarter. No, I think that one you got extra. You bought extra for like a dollar. Oh yeah, I did because this was hanging up on a uh, hanger. So no, I paid 50 cents. 50 cents, okay. 50 cents. All right, this is a Xbox 360. It's uh, called Rock Candy. It does have the charger. It is number 037010NAPDP. Hmm. Can't remember where we got this one from, but I don't think I paid that much for it. But ended up selling for $12.94. <laughs> we I, should probably just stop saying we can't yeah. remember where we got stuff from. We just, because we don't. We don't ever remember. We got so much, it's, it's hard to keep track. Yeah, and... <sighs> yeah and he just takes the new stuff and puts it into the death pile and then i just list the old stuff from the death pile i need to start just listing the new stuff right away and then just pulling from death pile this is a mutual we got this this is one of the first days that we went out after you quit your job i think but this was uh i remember it was in florida yeah, and down in florida. it was a whole set for like twelve dollars and we end up lots of it made we made decent money on it already but this is a sizzix rectangle that's all it says yeah but we've had this for close to two years now but it ended up selling for 750 and i think this is the last piece out of it oh thank you next is you it's the top half to a vintage popcorn popper by miro yes I don't remember what the bottom looked like, but yeah, it plugged in and it's just the top half. It does have some stains in there. Sold for $15. And I just picked it up in a lot with a whole bunch of cooking stuff. So I think it was a dollar. This came out of the auction that we went to when we first got here. We get a bunch of Hallmarks. We're into these for about a dollar a piece. Um, we got so many of them, but we had multiple counts too. So this was one of them. This is the Wiz Wicked Witch from the Wizard of Oz. And she ended up selling I'll for $8. <laughs> I am not pretty and you won't get me. You already got me. All right, we can't decide on who got this one as well. Cheesy. But this is a build a build a bear. I think he got that. Look, see, I'm giving stuff away today. Oh, you ain't giving squat away. This is a uh, teenage mutant ninja turtle build a bear. He's 17 inches tall. Probably paid a dollar. Looking up his butt. Yeah, paid a dollar, and he ended up selling for 13. Here's here's one of your Ooh. big ones. So this is. I'm just gonna pick up one or two pieces. Okay. That uh, and then here. So, whole set. Got it at the 127 sale. It does have all the lids. Yes. So, <laughs> saw this at the 127 sale when there was a whole bunch of us um, out one day. Oh, this was the day we were with uh, Chris. Yep. With a uh, OSP. I was over at another tent and everything, and everybody was ready to go. So I was like, okay, we'll just go. But um, I wanted to make sure that we got back to this particular tent because I wanted to find out more information about this. So, <laughs> And all the tents looked the same down there. So yeah. We couldn't figure out which tent city it was at. Yeah, so on the last day, we finally got back. We found, <laughs> we're driving down the road. I'm like, wait, wait, there it is. <laughs> so we pulled over and got back out and it was still there. And I think I paid $10 for this entire set. And it sold for $129.99. It is enamelware with strawberry print on it from the 70s. Yep. Um, I did this one as unbranded because there is a... I can't, I can't remember the name of the brand. But there is one that is branded that will sell for a little bit more. But the strawberry pattern was a little bit different. So if you do happen to pick them up, you want to double check on that strawberry pattern. This is a Jeff Gordon car. It carded with the hood on it. Got this down in Florida in a Jeff Gordon lot at the flea market, so probably 50 cents into this. But he ended up selling. I, actually, I had a bunch of these, and I had them all grouped together in one lot. 
and I decided to break them apart and they're starting to sell better now than in a lot. So this one ended up selling for eleven ninety five. You can do this one. <laughs> terrible, terrible of jeans. Yeah, we've had these for... Since Florida. Since Florida. We've had a lot of stuff since Florida, but that's okay. These are Brooklyn Express men's jeans, 44, 33, 30 dark. Bought them brand new for $2.50 with the tags from um, our SPCA thrift store, which they donate a lot of their proceeds to the SPCA. All thought their they, proceeds. Thought they would be, oh, yeah. I thought they'd be a really good deal because they're jeans. They got, you know, I guess it's just the wrong style to sell on there. But um, they finally sold for $12.94. We have another model car. The individual bought a different one, but then that was the first day he bought it. And then he saw that I listed this one the next day and he decided to switch them out, which is good because the first one was $23 and this one was was 30 He did ask to see if I swap, swap it out. This is a Days of Thunder. It is from 1990. Mellow yellow car. It is still sealed. Again, $4.76 into it and ended up selling for 30 Mellow yellow. Sorry, I have to get a drink. These I got for free. Free? Free? Who are with that day? Don and... I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Don and a couple other people. They are ceiling fan replacement um, blade arms. They're just flowers. Uh, they were in a free box outside. And so uh, we sold them for $15. Zero in the 15. That's a great profit, Marjorie. Yeah, exactly. What's your ROI? How big is your ROI? How big, <laughs> yes. Oh, I can't believe I forgot my own. Okay, sa same customer well, came through on these. Thing, but... This is the first of the die cast. Same person came through and bought both of these. He bought them a separate time, so we'll send him a refund on the shipping. But the first one is a car from 1974. It's from Dale Earnhardt's first asphalt win. They are numbered, but the numbering on it is kind of whack. So it is 124th scale. These were in excellent condition, so I listed them as new because they still had the cloth and everything over them. There's no damage to them at all. But this first one sold for $40. The second one is his Rookie of the Year in 1979. It's his old Wrangler car. Again, it's numbered, but the, I don't think the numbering system works on it. As far as how, well, it says one of like 68,000 or something. Work. So it doesn't really count as that limited. But this one ended up selling for 50. Both of these are going to the same customer, so he will save some shipping on it. But together, it was a $90 purchase. This one came out of the crates that I bought down in Florida of all the comic books. We're already way ahead on it. This is a Star Trek Dead of Honor. Um, I'm not sure the year on it. 1992. It's in really good condition, as you can see. Very good. And ended up selling for $7.50. So this one's me. I have a IBM coffee mug. This one was from, I don't have the year, vintage, of course. Classic dotted line, I guess you would call it. You just got that recently, too. I got this at that church. Oh, okay. Yard sale that you were talking about. Anyways, uh, sold for seventeen ninety nine, And you, it was in a bundle lot. You got like 20 of those mugs. Not the exact same ones, but 20 mugs for what, $5 or something? No, they were in a box with uh, the mason jars and everything else. But I think the box was $3. I got the Boy Scout mugs. Probably about 10 mugs and 10 jars. Okay, here is another same or a different person, but he bought both of these. I'm going to open this car up because it's really good looking. It is the Dale Earnhardt number one. It's the True Value car. It's from the IROC series. 
It's a blue firework, Firebird Extreme. He showed me a couple cars the other day, but I don't know if this is one of them. It is. Oh, is that, oh yeah, that one was pretty. This one's gorgeous. There you go. It's really good looking. It's pretty. And we have another one. It's like a, a softer blue. Um, they, they call it baby blue, but I'm not too certain it's so baby. No, it was. <laughs> yeah, it's this is the pretty. lighter blue. But uh, this one ended up selling for 35 Again, he uh, purchased them at different times, so he'll he will get a refund as well. And then the other one is a silver select 100 or 124th scale. It is from 2003. You can kind of show them on the side there if you want. And this one sold for 26. So we will again combine shipping and make sure that the, they get out to them. But together, it's $51. Ow. Sorry, snapped my wrist. Ooh. Boxes are in excellent shape. Yeah, I think when he, I think when he got these, he just put them straight away. Uh, because the majority of the die cast is Dale Earnhardt Sr. And there's several Kevin Harvick's in there. I still got a ton more to list. I've only got 60 listed over the weekend. But we've sold six, I believe. So that's 10%, I guess. That's, it's not too terribly bad. Yeah, I'll take it, considering, yeah. Next, I got him the... He has to start listing those comics. Okay, sorry about that. Um, I thought I didn't pull something, but it sold overnight, and it'll be on during the week. Same thing for this this big boy, so stay tuned for that one. That's, that's a good sale. Yeah, it was a good sale, too. And this as well. So we got several. Um, we're excited about it. So this weekend was mm -hmm. really good. We no complaints at all. No. <laughs> but she's. Put, I usually never complain though. She's put me on a pitch count to get all these cars listed. Yeah, so. those cars, and then he has to get the comics listed. I got two weeks to get them listed, and yeah. I'm I'm ahead of pace right now. So yeah, at least I I hit up my silverware at least once a week. I get a whole bunch right. of silverware listed. He's got to get some comics listed. But we appreciate everybody tuning in and watching. Yes, we do. Spread the word. Ashley, this week we're going to have Grin and Grandma on those flipping pickers. We can't yeah. wait. She's awesome. Yeah. So this video should come out, I think, uh, Wednesday. So. Yeah, we've got a lineup for those flipping pickers. We've got uh, Grin and Grandma coming on. We've got... Um, Jackson from Jackson Whatnot. Jackson from he, Whatnot. He's a Whatnot rep. Yep, he's going to be on. And we're uh, talking with Leroy from Blood, Sweat, Cell. Yep, it's Leroy. just a matter of trying to figure out our timing together. Yep, and I think we have one more lined up. I'm not sure. So yeah. Okay. But we know those three for the next probably three weeks lined up. If this video comes out after, then hopefully you guys went and watched Grin and Grandma on the Slipping Pickers. If not... Go back and watch. She's yeah. she's a riot. It's going to be so much fun. Yeah. <laughs> but we thank everybody for watching, and we will get back with you on the next What's Old. Yep. That's my word of the day. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. I have to change the way I say it. Yeah. Well, he always sounds so... Thank you. All righty. business. Bye. Bye.